What is up everybody and welcome to another episode of Dave Steals the Show. Guys, in this episode, in this rainy day episode, it's totally ugly outside. In this rainy day episode, I wanted to compare the camera of the newly released Galaxy Note 9 to the Pixel 2 XL. But while I was doing that, I said, you know what, why don't I also compare it to my Canon 80D, which is what I'm filming on right now, to see how far cell phone cameras have come these days, and are they DSLR worthy? Are we getting photos from these cell phones that rival the photos that come from a full-fledged DSLR? Well, in this episode, we're gonna find out. So you're going to see a series of three pictures, obviously one from the Note 9, one from the Pixel 2 XL, and one from the Canon 80D, not necessarily in that order. I'm going to show them to you individually and then I'm going to lay them out side by side so you can compare for yourself. What I noticed was that there was a consistency across all of the photos. I'm not going to tell you now, I'm going to wait for the end and then I'll kind of go through and tell you what I saw as I was taking these photos. Alright, so here they are. I could tell you that as I went through taking these photos, it became more and more apparent to me that yes, these cell phone cameras can produce images that rival a DSLR photo, which is truly incredible, the progress that we're making with these cameras. Now I was comparing this Canon 80D with an EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens to the Samsung Note 9, which has the dual aperture camera on the back, it has dual cameras, and comparing those two to the Pixel 2 XL, which has the single camera, but Google's unmatched prowess in their image processing software, which is absolutely incredible. And so what I noticed was that the Canon's pictures were the most bland, I guess you could say, of all the three cameras. Um, on the opposite end of that spectrum is the Note 9, which was over-processing, over-saturating color and blowing out some of the detail. If you notice on the, some of the countertop or tabletop details, they weren't there. And I think bridging the two successfully was the Pixel 2 XL, which toned down the color more and gave you a more color accurate image while capturing as much detail as possible. If you go back and look at the photos again, you'll see what I'm talking about. It really did an incredible job and it just goes to show that even the Note 9's new camera is struggling to keep up with the Pixel 2 XL. Now, the Pixel 3 announcement is around the corner. I'm excited to see what possibly they could do to improve this camera, but anything would mean that, again, this camera is going to be king. If you had a different favorite camera, comment below, let me know which one, and tell me why. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video drops, and I will see you all next week.